Okay, we're back. It is currently March 5, 1387. So we have one and a half months to go in this playthrough. It's afternoon. So what I'm going to do is get these. Where's my business bronze tools? Oh, we don't have them. It's not in my inventory. So we do need to make some bismuth bronze tools for the trader that we found in the chalky basalt area. But for the time being, what I want to do is, I guess, let's go continue making the copper lanterns. So we already have two copper plates here. Let's light this now. Since the health hammer is going, I want to take advantage of that. Oh, hey. Need another copper ingot there. Now, what was doing? Oh, we were making torches here. And how is our stock of raw materials? I think we can do another thing of copper. And I don't think we have enough for bismuth, but we do have like bismuth things here. So I'll do, I'll clear out this forge and then I'll put some bismuth ingots there so we can get some tools going. And are you slowing down? Are you seriously slowing down? Come on. Like I already lit this. Hurry up. <laughs> well. Well, that's heating up. I might as well just check on our animals here. Do you need to be fed? Wait, I already fed you, didn't I? Yeah, I think you're still good. Still got plenty of feed here. So, all the snow is melting. The ice is melting in the pond here. Okay, it should be warm enough now, so let's get this started. Or it should be... wind is blowing, I mean. Of course it's warm enough. And yes, this is warm enough too. Come, come on! You know what, let's have a race. Let's see who could do this first. I do have a spare hammer, I believe. I got a steel hammer ready to go. I can't believe I'm doing this. Like, the wind was blowing, like, really fast earlier. But I just wanted to get that thing cleared. All oh, right. I should also get this fired up now and need my charcoal. So I'm going to make two size and two hose. That's what I remember the chalky basalt trader needed. All right, so let's get continue on with this. You know, it is kind of annoying that you stop blowing. Oh, here we go. It's going a little bit faster now. Now, when I go over to the trader, I also want to harvest as much dirt as possible from beyond the translocator. Because I do need to finish the roads here. Gotta finish these stone paths. And it looks like you are going to finish before me. Now you're getting a whole faster. 
course. Okay. Oh, come on. Come on, damn it. Wow, okay, fine. So we're doing two size business bronze scythe. So I completely lost that race. That's okay. Let's do this. Now you're just going to have to break it off. Probably should just get this. Get this going now. So I'll do one round of this, then I'll do something else. Uh, come to think of it, I also remember that the uh, cattails grew back. Don't know how that happened during the winter time, but it grew back. Maybe it was just warm enough for the growth progress to happen. So, two size and two hose. I actually don't remember what the other agricultural trader wanted. Like the one that's in this area. Like we're building a path to it. Like it's in the east. I forget what he which tools he takes right now. All I remember is the agricultural trader like past the two translocators. I know he takes two business bronze size and two business bronze hoes. Sites are seven gears, while the hose are four gears. Kind of a rip off of the hose, but it does have cheese. So I want that cheese. And I just realized Oh, that would have been bad. If I completely forgot about this. And I was missing a voxel, I'd have to like, process this back into bits. Okay, two size. Two hoes. Now, I still want to make that arena. It's like to the right here. Still need to get on that, but again, I need paths. And I think at this point, I'll only end up doing one temporal storm with it once I'm done. That's a, assuming I finish. Like, before the last one. And based on the amount of hours I put into this playthrough, I'm thinking this is going to be the second last play session. So, we're almost done here. Getting very closer to the end, and... I did mention I'm not going to be playing Vintage Story for 1.17. I'm skipping that because it's really just like an improvement to existing mechanics. They're just finishing things that have been left unfinished. But I'm going to get back into Vintage Story again in 1.18 because that's the lore update. They're going to be heavily expanding on the lore. Like they're going to be adding new ruins and I think we'll basically figure out or we'll learn what like all the drifters are, why all the wolves are pissed off and everything like that. And it'll be awesome. So I'm taking a break from Vintage Story and coming back when there is like much fresher content. I guess I'll describe it like that. Anyway, how much tin do we have? Oh, I guess we can do a round of tin. Is there anything in here? Nope. All right, so one, two, three. And 
what was the ratio here? Okay, we can't do like 2100. What the hell? Okay, so let's try this. Uh, we'll just burn through all of it, I guess. Or what are they doing? Try to get as try to use as much copper as possible while minimizing the tin here. Oh. Why am I screwing this up? Okay. Let's try to get this to 2,000. There we go. So, gonna eat this up with Pete. I don't like how, if I'm standing here, I can't really hear the health hammer. Like, it needs to be louder, because, well, it's a health hammer. It's like banging away at stuff. So, devs, please, make the health hammer, like, louder from a longer distance. Like, I should be able to hear it from, like, here. Now we'll get the charcoal ready, I think. 14 should be good enough. If my math checks out. I didn't do math, but I hope the math checks out that I didn't do. Okay. You know what, maybe forget about the copper plates here. Let's just finish this off because this is working like way too slow. I think at this point I can just take the peat off. Oh god. Look how slow this is. Come on. Oh my. You know what? Maybe. Maybe this will be the last one. And then. Let's do two more. Just so I can pretty much guarantee that this will all be processed when I come back. And then I can just reheat it. So. Anyway, let's put away these things. Let's put away the hammer. And then let's get ready for a trip beyond the translocator. But this, come on. Dude. Wait, my nutrition is... we need grains and fruit. Yeah, I guess we'll take another pie. Take another one of these and then we'll bring... we'll cut this up. Oh, this is done. Alright, let's get it up with my sword. Got four slices of onion pie. Oh, I guess we'll do this. The obsidian here, torches here. Actually, we should put the bandages here. Okay, so this is good, this is good, everything's good. And then copper plates. I think we're good to go. Let's just bring our gears and bring our tools here.
And look how nice and bright this place is. Oh, I still need to finish the roof on that thing. Managed to survive the winter without a roof on the windmill towers. But that's okay. And I guess I do need to terraform this area still as well. Now I should also check the agricultural trader over there. Like I need to double check what tools he actually has. Or he... The tools he wants, I should say. Oh, and we still need to finish this path. Like, going all the way to the agricultural trader. And we need to widen this as well. Now... There's the summit over there. We did light. We have something up there. As dark here, we should probably check to see what it looks like. Cause I want to see this. That's pretty much what I'm going to be doing for the rest of this playthrough. Is just making the arena, finishing the stone paths, and. Doing other stuff, I guess? Trading? What's well, minus one? Here's a trader, and. Okay, so you don't take any tools, you don't have cheese, so. Let's close your door here. And look at that! And see that tiny pillar at the top there? That's where I put the lantern. And it looks like the torches up there are still lit. That'll go away soon. So for the time being, we're just going to go through the translocator. And then we're going to trade these tools and buy that cheese, even though it's a ripoff. And we're also going to get some more dirt. Like, I want to try to get as much dirt as possible. Especially from these hilly areas. And the rift activity is calm, so nothing is going to be. That's a sheep. That's not a wolf. Definitely do not want to be doing anything with the wolves. Oh. The water over here is melting. There's only a little bit of. Partially eating by another creature. I'm going to assume that was the fox that ate you. Couldn't have been a wolf. If it's a wolf, it would have said large bite marks. Oh yeah, and I still need to get the tin from this area. And why don't I just refresh these torches? Since we're still going to be going through here, might as well keep the path lit. Also have a deposit over here. That is for the tin. It's a poor deposit. Still need to mine that out. And I already got the blasting powder so I can make more ore blasting bombs. I forget if I had already crafted them or if there's still the blasting powder but either way I do have the resources for it oh probably should uh, refresh these torches over here like I already forgot how long ago I put these in couldn't have been two days though obviously Come on. This thing's in my way. But we do have access to chalk now, but... We also have lots of limestone, so... Not like I want the material there. 
Okay, so how do I get to the translocator from here? Time to eat. And I... Wait, no, that's obsidian. I thought I brought the charcoal with me. That would have been stupid. But anyway, you know what? Let's go peek outside real quick. I want to see if the fire is still going. Probably not, but... Gotta see this. Oh, I could still harvest you if I really, really want to. Well, there is that landmark. We're going to be harvesting a lot of dirt in this area. But for the time being, I'm going to go to the trader here. And something caved in. I did have to dig my way up. Oh, hey. What are you doing here? I'm salt gravel. And why did the fire stop? I want you to continue burning, damn it. Even though I'm probably not going to be exploring this place, I just want the fire to continue clearing stuff. There you go. Ah, uh, floating pine logs. So, the trader was over here in this direction. And you need to be lit on fire. And you need to be lit on fire. I guess while I'm here, I should also try to find some additional obsidian, if I can. Alright, so... Let's do this. 14, 18, and 22. There you go. And we'll buy this cheese. And we don't need to buy anything else. Oh, here we go. Some more obsidian. And I'm just going to torch this just because. Wait, is this a peat? No. I probably should torch the wood instead because it does last longer. If I remember correctly. Alright, let's head back. This, no, that's just basalt. We'll let that burn. Okay, so we're done in this area. Unless I can somehow find that collapsed dirt that I heard when I went through the translocator. Oh, hey, obsidian. I'll take you. Oh, I'm hungry already? Damn. Oh, I guess this doesn't give much food. All right. Just take this. Like, what collapsed here? Might have been just gravel. But you know what? I will light this just in case. Now, even though we can't really use the gravel, like, I can use it to, like, fill up the ponds near my base. Just to get rid of the water. So I don't have to use other blocks for it. 
Yeah, the blocks that collapsed might have been the gravel, but I don't see anything. Alright, so let's just go down. I guess we could just let these torches burn out. Oh, come on, really? You know what? No! Oh! You are not going to let me get back, do you? Yeah. Come on. Why don't you fight each other while you're at it? Yeah. Beg for mercy, bitch! <laughs> okay, now we can go back. Okay, so... How much room do we have? We got... One, two, three, eight slots. Alright. So, let's go ahead, get some dirt. And there's a sheep. You need to not come into the cave. Please. Maybe I should just leave some dirt so that I can actually climb out of here. Maybe. Or I can collapse this. And the dirt will just... Yeah, just fill this in, please. Okay, I already got an entire stack. Let's keep this going. Like, imagine going out of your way to harvest dirt. Like, this is just insane if you think about it. But I do need it for the stone paths. At the very least, I have a steel shovel, making this a whole lot easier. I should replenish some of my packed dirt as well. 